Hello everybody and welcome back to Easy Medicine. I'm currently working on the orthopedic ward in the hospital and one of my daily jobs is to draw blood from patients. But as I'm doing this a lot of patients ask me why do you have to draw blood that often and what do you test with the blood. In today's video I'm going to explain you why do we need to draw blood that often and what is the result of the blood tests and why do we need different tubes for the blood tests. Before we get into the video if you are new around here consider subscribing for more medical content and of course if you enjoyed the video please leave me a like rating down below. Let's get into it. When I draw blood from patients I have to fill different kind of tubes. The first tube is the EDTA tube. EDTA means ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid and it looks like this. The EDTA in the flask binds calcium irreversible. Due to this binding of calcium the blood is not able to coagulate. So in this tube we are able to analyze the different kind of cells in the blood. Why is this important? Well after a big operation a lot of people lose a lot of blood and after the operation with this tube you can check about the hemoglobin in the blood. So the erythrocytes have hemoglobin to bind blood and to transport oxygen and if this value is very low there are not enough erythrocytes and there is not enough hemoglobin to transport the oxygen to the tissues. So if the value is very low after operation you have to transfuse blood. The second type of tube is for the serum. In this tube we initiate coagulation so we can separate the cells from the liquid part of the blood. So in this tube we can analyze the sodium, the potassium, the liver activity and the kidney activity. This is very important for internal medicine. And the green tube that looks like this is the citrate tube. In this tube we can test the coagulation ability of a patient. So the prothrombin time is a very important measure that we have to test and this measure tells us if the patient is able to fix any bleeding by themselves. So if you cut them that they are able to coagulate the blood in place and stop the bleeding. If this the prothrombin time is not good most surgeons will not operate the patient. There are a lot of more tubes that are not used that often. For example there is a specific tube that is used for determination of your blood group. But these three previously mentioned tubes are used most often and tell the doctors a lot about your situation and your current state. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching and that you now know why doctors check that often your blood results if you're in the hospital. I'm going to enjoy now the rest of the day and I'm going to celebrate my birthday and I hope that you have a great day as well and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.